dude. You put the tart and tarty. Oh. Okay, girls. The quicker we do this, the quicker we go home. Oh. 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 Going somewhere? Ah, oh. uh, you know, sorry, this car's full. I mean, give it up already. By the way, didn't anyone tell you that brown is the new black? I'll never give up! Okay, time's up. You've had your fun. Now it's time to come with us. Could these missions get any easier? Cases isn't necessary. Yes, mother, I'm certain I can pick you up. No, mother, it's no bother. Goodbye, mother. Pretty much. I mean, hello. <laughs> Freezing here. Sorry, girls. With my mother coming to visit next week, everything's been rather topsy turvy around here, including the air conditioning system. Didn't bother me. <gasps> much better. So, what's the 411 on the early AM 911? I called you here because I have some fantastic news. You've all been promoted. Promoted? Why? What's the catch? No catch. You three shall officially leave your junior spy days behind and join the ranks of Whoop's most elite secret agents, which means more danger, more responsibility, and more missions. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> exactly. What part of more danger, more responsibility, and more missions are we supposed to be psyched about? Yeah, I understand your concern, but I assure you this is a wonderful opportunity. Very few agents ever get to this level. I think Jer's right. It does sound exciting. No, it sounds like we'll be sweating. A lot. But thanks to my new rabbit diet, I'm in peak physical condition. Um, ugh. Don't get her started, Jer. Trust me. Did you know that carrots are jam-packed with vitamin A and beta-carotene goodness? Guess I must have skipped that chapter in my rabbit diet book. Uh-oh! Half a carrot! Your carotonic levels are dangerously low, Jer! There. That should help. I think it's time for you to go. Good luck! Whoa! Love the Greek chic! It's like being on a reality show, only it's not fake. <gasps> An infinity pool. A hot tub. Oh, I could definitely get used to this. Good morning, ladies. <gasps> My name is Terence. I'll be your host during your stay. Nice to meet you, Terence. May I escort you to your private rooms? Finally, I'm getting the perks I so richly deserve. Just hope I brought enough carrots. <gasps> wow! Pick a door, any door. Each leads to your own private suite of rooms. Wait, there are four rooms, but only three of us. Hey. Girls, I'd like to introduce you to your fellow agent, Dean. <laughs> He'll be joining you in your training sessions. Allow me, dear. My name is Clover, but you can call me Smitten. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, 
Oh, this place is too good to be true. Huh. Who knew we'd be mixing business with pleasure? It's about to get better. Not just dinner, a black tie gala. Wait! I can't go! I don't have anything for all to wear! <clears throat> Help yourself to whatever you need. Extension 3 is for the tailor. <gasps> that settles it. I am never leaving. Be downstairs at 8 p.m. sharp. And don't be late. Your instructors will be waiting. We'll be there with Couture on. Personally, I can't wait to start our super spy training. Please have a seat. What's with the trays? I bet it's some delicious gourmet meal with a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's open them and find out. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> You're giving us jewelry? Is it me? Or does this night just keep getting better and better? Spies, meet your instructors. Uh. Go on, open them. Welcome. Hello. Greetings. Pleasure to meet you. Throughout your training, they will be your guides and mentors. Your lockets summon them when needed. Oh, I get it. The lockets project who we really are inside. I think you're spot on, Clover. What's hey! that supposed to mean? <clears throat> now that you've met your instructors, training will begin immediately. But what about the gourmet dinner I can't pronounce and my designer outfit? Center yourself. Forget your hunger. Right now, you've got work to do. This is the top secret whoop training facility? I was expecting something a little more... High tech! Cool! Welcome to training. You four are here because you're the chosen ones. We thought you were kidding. This is no joke, and you becoming spies was no accident. Whoa! Is that really me? We've been watching you since birth. and ability to problem solve were apparent from a very early age. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Even back then I was boy crazy. More importantly, your spying abilities and observational skills were light years ahead of your time. Speaking of observation skills, how did Whoop spy on me? Ew, camotastic. Talk about being light years ahead of your time. prowess and ability to disguise yourself didn't go unnoticed. What about Dean? Dean was the most advanced of all. He was chosen the day he was born. <laughs> Dean's intelligence and natural fighting skills were clearly exemplary. A martial arts hottie even as a baby? I think I'm in love. Ladies, please. There's enough Dean to go around. Yes, ladies, please. It's time to focus. Run Super Spy Sim 1. Let the virtual training begin. 
This is like my worst third grade gymnastics nightmare come true. Don't worry, Clover. We're the chosen ones. Everything's gonna be fine. Your first mission. Make it across the ravine without falling. Duh! Thanks. I think we got that. So, who wants to go first? With rabbit power on my side, I should be able to hop across no probs. As soon as you say no probs, there's always probs. I'm really getting the hang of this. Piece of cake. The secret is not to... Spy rule number one. Evaluate your fear factor and manipulate it. Wait, I've got it. You've got what? This is a mind over matter exercise. All we have to do is close our eyes and imagine that the ravine isn't so steep. Hmm? Uh. Why are we wearing blindfolds? Maybe it's something fun, like a game of pin the tail on the donkey or a pinata. <laughs> Doubt it. In fact, I have a sinking suspicion that whatever it is, it's not good. What are we supposed to do here? You know, other than get our butts kicked. Super spy rule number two. You must have faith in your intuition. My intuition is saying... Then return for Alice, then take Sam. But Alex and I will be alone together while you take Clover across. And I'll be alone with Clover while you go back for Sam. I've got it. First, Dean will take Alex across. Then he'll go back and pick me up. He'll leave me on the other side, but take Alex back with him. Then he'll leave Alex there while taking Sam across. Finally, he'll return for Alex. <laughs> it's a simple teamwork exercise. Clover, that was amazing. <sighs> All those years spent figuring out how to pay for designer clothes on layaway were bound to pay off eventually. Come on, spies. Let's do it. Congratulations. Oh, oh, I can't remember the last time I was this tired. Or this sore. Guess it comes with being the chosen ones. Well, this chosen one had better get some room service on the devil. I hear the carrot cake's delicious. Ah! Check 
Check it out. What could be making the house shake like this? <gasps> oh, that's better. At least now I can think. Tired early, but when I couldn't sleep, I thought a nice walk would tucker me out. Oh, looks like it worked. You mean you didn't notice the earthquake that rocked the entire mansion? Earthquake? Or the flooding ballroom where we almost drowned? Flooding ballroom? Oh my. Or Dean's bizarre disappearance into thin air, or rather water? Uh, how long was your walk? It sounds like you girls have had quite a night. But don't worry, I know where Dean is. Would you like to see? Dean is fine. At least he will be fine if you do as I say. Oh, stop! You're hurting him! <laughs> you see, the closer you get to Dean, the tighter the Lucite's grip on him gets. Uh, did all those years of fetching towels and room service finally make you snap? You have no idea what it's like always being second! Nothing Terence did was ever good enough. Well, that's all gonna change starting now, mates. Now, if you want to prevent your fellow chosen one from getting crushed, I suggest you do as I say. Okay, what do you want? I'm sorry I had to interrupt your training and dispose of your instructors, but I have a mission for you. You three will eliminate Jerry. <laughs> Great! Like we'd ever hurt Jerry! Besides, what did Jerry ever do to you anyway? That's for me to know and you to find out! 
after you eliminate him, you'll retrieve the microchip he keeps hidden under the large birthmark on his neck and return it to me. I'll be watching your every move. Try any funny business, and you'll never see your good friend Dean again. Don't worry, Dean. We won't let you down. There's a chopper waiting for you. Say goodbye to Jerry for me. Ha! Ha! Ha!